still don't see any health bars. What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rocky here with another episode of Atlas. And before we get started, I want to say a special thanks to Daniel, Kumo, and Ulysses. You guys are providing some great feedback in the comments, um, especially when it came to um, losing my chicken. <laughs> uh, found out that there's a bug when crossing those borders uh, from um, area to area. Um, Daniel pointed it out, but Ulysses kind of explained it to where you, you don't want to go too fast. So I'm going to try that trick out. I do have to make a trip, a uh, voyage back to the starting island that I started off at, which shouldn't be too hard because that path is kind of laid out on the map. Actually, let's come out a little bit. The boom done. I know exactly where I need to go. It won't be hard to find. Um, and I might even stop by past the killing aisles and get some iron. Um, Daniel recommended that I use some of the iron I have now and make an iron pickaxe because I can definitely use that iron pickaxe to get more iron if that makes any sense. So basically how that works is an iron pickaxe increases the amount of iron you could get out of some of the rocks. In the previous video you saw how I went over some of the rocks and I found that they do have iron in them but when I hit them with the basically the common or the stone pickaxe I didn't get much out of it uh, the other thing is some tricks that he mentioned was that if I hit trees and I think I mentioned this the last one if I hit trees with a pickaxe I could get more thatch uh, than with an axe where I'll get more wood I think the same works for stone where if I use the axe I'll get more flint vice stone so these are great little tips and tricks that I didn't know before thank you guys for leaving those comments these comments help not only me but they help other people that are watching this video that might be new to this game so please by all means leave comments explain what you're talking about and if you want to head to my discord and leave even more information I know I'm going to do one thing that Kumo explicitly put in there one is to learn how to map <laughs> <laughs> he left more detailed information on how to use this map feature, which I'm probably going to play around with later. Uh, there's a heat wave out there, I think. Actually, I think it just cleared, so we might go out there and try that. Um, but he also included some pictures of how to enclose the ramshackle sloop. It looked like someone put an outhouse <laughs> over the navigation wheel or the... Uh, man, I, I can't even... I can't even... Uh, the helm... We'll just say the helm, right? Someone put an outhouse over the helm. So I'm going to build my own outhouse and just poop and steer at the same time. Let's do it. <laughs> so uh, it was a neat way of getting around the whole not being enclosed thing. Um, because I, I do have an enclosed area on the minnow. The problem is, is that I have to anchor to utilize that under area part. So it doesn't really help me very much. But this method apparently has you enclosed even when you're basically piloting or steering the vessel through the water. So this is something I'm going to try before we get started. But before we do that, is the heat wave done? It is. Now I had a lot. Oh, I thought that was a horse. Oh, man. So I'm cooking a lot of meat. We could probably, let's see if it's done so we can stop this. Um, no, not all of it's done, so we can't stop it yet. We got, yep, cooked prime animal meat. Uh, that's from the alligator we found. Definitely want to collect all this stuff. Da, 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 da. We could throw that away. And then I think this insect meat just gives you regular, like, cooked meat. So it is what it is. But we got still plenty of meat to cook. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. I think I have to find more berries. I definitely have to find more berries. Uh, the other thing I want to do before we go off on this. So this one I think I have full... Who pointed this out? I think Daniel pointed it out that I have to have the lid off. Thank you very much. I know I did, and I know why I put it back on. Oh, I know why I put it back on here, because keeping the lid on prevents these things from losing moisture, 
quicker, I believe. So I have these things. Uh, it's basically, well, not full. Actually, yeah, it's full. So this thing's full of water. So we're just going to leave that one with the lid off. And this one has none of them in there. None. So I have all of, actually, I have one. <laughs> I have two on me, actually. So, yeah, we'll leave the lid off on this one because if it does rain, it will collect water. So we'll leave the lid off on that one while this one is full with the water I collected from the nice river slash um, waterfall area over there. Great, beautiful area, by the way. I love it. I love it. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and time lapse me getting some wood and thatch. I need to enclose this and then we're going to bring chicken over here um, and just plop him here. And he's going to stay in this little area for right now until um, I make it bigger, <laughs> I think is the is the plan. But yeah, this is going to be my little farm area. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this. All right, well, I got enough wood to build a, what I thought was a fence, turns out to be fence supports, and then I put a half wall there. I think I totally messed this up. I don't know if the chicken could get out from underneath there or not. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have to build a floor and put it right here. I do don't really like this but you know I could probably always destroy the floor I won't get the materials back but at this point I don't really care I think we could just go with a simple thatch floor to be honest with you I don't want to waste too much I think this is cheaper than a wood one I think it is so we'll just go with a regular thatch floor we'll block this up so that the animal can't actually get out we got to go get clucky before it gets night put him in his new home and I think we're going to wait the night out. Can we put this here? Something obstructing it. What about here? I am so confused how this fence thing works. I could put this here, right? There we go. That should block him from getting out and other creatures from getting in. In fact, I don't think it... Can the chicken jump over it? Oh God, I don't really like that, but you know what? It's staying here for right now. So let's go get Clucky and let's bring him back. Uh, we're going to leave him here. Well, uh oh, yes, I see you. Uh Oh, no, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button again. Oh Lord. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. These snakes, man, they're everywhere too, bro. You just can't escape these things. Good thing is I, I will never have a shortage of meat and skin on this island like ever. Okay. Um, I got monkey. I could probably leave monkey or Amber. I'm sorry. Amber. I don't want to just call her monkey. That's rude. She has a sex and a name and it's Amber. By golly, we're going to identify her correctly. <laughs> All right. Let's get up this thing. Oh, what's that noise? What is that noise? What is that noise? That was awkward. Okay. Yeah, there's Clucky. All right. Sorry, Amber. I know it's FF, right? All right, let's do this. 
Um, is she is she on me? She is. Okay, let's uh let's put this away and do it. There we go. All right, Amber, you sit there on the helm. I'm gonna grab Clucky up, and I'm gonna take Clucky back to her pen. His pen. It's a male. Uh oh, I'm dr am I drowning this beast? I definitely am. Let's uh, if we kill my only chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're heading back. We're heading back. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I gotta be careful. I don't go too far over because that alligator has been lingering over there in that little lagoon area. Oh man, that's the last thing I want to fight right now. I gotta make uh, more spears. I, you know, I'm getting pretty good with these arrows. It looked like the last one I hit that snake for like I think 54. Could be wrong on that. But still looks like I'm getting pretty good with these arrows. All right. Put you in your little pen. I know it's a little sandy. But I'll feed you. I promise. No, no. Shut this door now. There you go. Open this door now. Okay. And now we can... Leave you here. Let's check on you. Because I think... You probably got some upgrades. Nope, you don't. Um, and you have plenty of berries. I think you'll be fine. Can I still give you some? If I give you berries, I won't have none to take myself. <laughs> but I don't think you're going to be able to escape. So I think we're good there, Clucky. You should be fine. Um, and it is turning night. I don't want to leave Amber on the boat. So I'm going to go get Amber back. Um, and then basically just chill out. I gotta make a bed before I leave too. So, mm, the one thing I learned on this island is I'm not going to be out here at night worming around. Um, I've seen a lion out in this area. There's an alligator in that area. There's plenty of snakes. It's gonna be already hard to see as it is. So I'm gonna get Amber and then basically just hide out in the hut for a while until it turns light. We'll be right back. All right, it has turned daylight. And I added a few things, so I definitely had enough stuff in my inventory to create a bed. I made some more spears, I also made some more arrows, and I also made this wall hook. And I got a lantern, yes, no, torch. Now I can turn it on, and I can turn it off. So at night, I can sit in here and not have to worry about it being completely dark and still kind of rummage around and do whatever I need to in here without having a, I don't know, fireplace in the middle of the deck. <laughs> so it definitely saves room for a lot of other things. Right now, what I need to do is I need to go collect more thatch and more wood. The goal here is I want four walls and a roof. Um, and I also want to create windows so I could at least see while I'm piloting the vessel. So that's what we're going to go do. I think I have enough to at least create a couple walls. Let's see. We're, we're going to want wood walls. I do not. I definitely need more. Ah, I need more fibers. That's what I really need. So let me go out and collect some fibers. Uh, and then let me see how much I have after I collect a whole bunch of fibers to create a wall. Well, I want four. So four walls. Uh, one door and three windows and a roof so hopefully this should be enough let's see how much we could create with what we got this trick of uh, using the pickaxe and the axe is actually saving me a lot of time before I was it was just really I would have too much wood and not enough thatch now it seems I'm, I have an equal amount alright so we want wooden wall let's see how many I could, I could build three what am I low on? Let's build three and see what we're low on. That That's probably a smarter idea, huh, Chief? <laughs> okay, we're low on wood. Okay, so let me get to chopping down more wood and thatch, and then we'll get right back to it.
Alright, Gaming Warriors, it looks like I have enough to create my little outhouse <laughs> on the minnow. Man, oh man, I'm excited to get this done. What is that over there? Ah, it's a pig. That's another thing I gotta do. Um, I gotta get a pig army. There are four, I repeat, four pirate camps on this island. So, <laughs> there's gonna be a plenty of action in this series already near the beginning of it because I have plenty of bad guys to shoot at including a pirate ship so I don't know how I'm going to take care of that pirate ship have no idea but I'm looking forward to figuring it out <laughs> all right let's get up here and see if we got enough to build there was a shark here earlier and I did chase off a stingray manta ray whatever you want to call it a ray some type of ray Let's get up there. Let's get up there. All right. Man, it's really foggy out there, isn't it? Okay. I think we're going to have to pick up this um, fireplace for sure. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to fill this sucker up. Let's see here. Wood. Coconut. Uh, we'll leave that stuff there. Uh, we'll leave the put the thatch in here real quick. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is let me put the walls here. Okay. So we got this one. Now we're going to put with a window. One window. Two window. Oh, these look so nice, dude. Can I put this here with the fireplace being right there still? Oh, I sure can. I still don't like the fireplace being there though. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's do. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do it from here. Can we do it? It's being really weird. Just about. Nope, right there. Okay. T, we want a doorway. What's that? That's a doorway, right? That's a doorway. Sweetness. Ooh, ooh, look at that, bro. Uh-oh. That's no bueno. Can we pick it up? Let me see. Uh-oh. I think we're going to lose this because I can't. Yeah, this is not going to work. Can we pick this up? Please tell me I can pick this up. Oh, man. This is not going well. Let's uh drop this. Can we pick this up? I'm going to have to demolish this one and use this, I think, as a door or have this one as a door. I don't know. We got to figure this piece out because this thing's in the way. And it's not going to work too well. Doorway. Demolish. Hmm. 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 Can I move this? I can demolish it, but I don't want to do that. What I could do is, I guess, expand this out further. Hmm. What if I put the roof on here with only three sides? What would that do? Let's find that out. Let's pick this stuff up. I know I'm over encumbered. I'm going to move it. Oh, Jesus. He wasn't lying. I'm, I'm, I'm like crawling. Look at this. Craw crawling. Can I put this? Can I make it? Can I put this in here? Mm. And done. Sweet. All right. That's some of that wood. I definitely don't want to lose this wood, though. You know, let's throw the charcoal in there. And now we could demolish this guy. Let's place this guy down. Come on, there we go. We want a window. See, we could do a sloped left, sloped right. 
let's do this with the window. And what I'm going to do next is put the roof on it. And I want to see if I'm standing in there, if that counts as enclosed. That's what I want to see. If that works, then I won't necessarily need a door. I don't know. We're going to figure this out here in a second. All right, get in there, wood. All right, let's go ahead and put the ceiling on. Grab that sucker out of the inventory. There we go. Um, hmm. Can I stand on there? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, we want a flat one. Can we do a flat? I might have picked the wrong thing to build, huh? No. Stairs? Nope. Triangle roof? Nope. Corner roof? Nope. A valley? We don't want that. Oh, that's a hatch. Oh, that's super cool. This might work right here. Roof doorway. Um, snap points. Hmm. Snap points. But that's going to go through the bed. Hmm. I don't like I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so we have some problems here. Um I probably Yeah. Let's not even try it. But we could do this. We'll leave this alone. We'll put this away. I think I have a wooden floor somewhere here. We could put at least these on. And enclose these. There we go. And one door left. We could open these, of course. That's so cool. Sweet. Does this get in the way of me? Yes, it does. So we'll do it this way. You open this way. There you go. There you go. And now I can see and still pilot. Nice. All right. So we get some fixes to do. Let me go and put some of the stuff away. Do I have the wooden floor in here though? No, I don't. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some of these corrections. I got to refabricate something here. Let me get the, the floor first and then we'll figure that other piece out. Be right back. All right. I'm back. And I remembered that I did accidentally built a floor one time. So we're going to put that up there. Now, what I'm going to do is jump in here and see if this counts as enclosed. It does not. So, hmm. Dilemmas, dilemmas. So, the problem I'm going to have here is trying to get here, right? So, let, actually, let's take this floor. Can we pick it up? Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do here is... Make a floor with a hole in it. Make that the door. And what I'll do is have a wall here with a ladder going up. And windows here. And I think what I could do is maybe through the window hook here like that. We'll see. Let's see what I can do here. Somebody, I don't know. I know I know Kumo's going to fix <laughs> going to fix it in the comments for me. Like, no, chief, you did it wrong again. <laughs> I know. I'm hard. I'm hard-headed like an mf -er. Okay, let's see. We want ceiling doorway. I think that's what we want. Or a catwalk. Dude, you could do a catwalk? That's so cool. Can I do catwalks on the side? Oh, wow. But we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We want to do a ceiling doorway. There we go. Okay. Now I just need to build another wall with a window and two ladders. Let's go do that. 
let's let's see if I could get that to work. And then I have my little outhouse. <laughs> it almost looks like one of those like uh, what do you call it? Like Asian style boats. <laughs> a dong, I think that's what they call them, dongs. <laughs> Anyways, back to work. All right, gaming warriors, I got everything I need, and I think just in time because a heat wave just hit. So let's go ahead and build this wall. We want to make sure we do one with this. All right, let's get our ladder out. Two of them. Okay, can we put like off center? Can we do that? How can we do one inside? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. That was one inside. Hello? Hmm. You know what? This might be a good idea to do this and then create a catwalk. That might actually be a good idea. Let's what do I need for a cat for another ceiling? Let me see. Wooden ceiling. Oof. The wood's not a hard part. Do I have thatch and fiber in here? That's that's the question. Let me see. Oh, yes I do. Let's throw that here. We want This should be enough. Let's move all this fiber over temporarily. What are we short on? I'm definitely going to have to jump off to get the thatch anyways. But the wood, we could just keep punching in the wood. Let's see. Where are we at? Okay, you know what? I'm going to go get the thatch and wood. And I think what we're going to do is make a catwalk. And then... Yeah, build the ladder this way. That would be super cool. I like that idea. Okay, let's go do that, and we'll be right back. Oh, ooh, wait, and I need to make another. Another door. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's go do that. In fact, I don't even know why I built that little guy. Window. Whatever. Okay, I think I got everything I need now. All right, so let's go ahead and do... The catwalk. Hmm. I wonder. Can we do it a dip? There we go. We can do it that way. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's get our ladder out. There we go. Now, where can I hook this to? Maybe to the side there? Okay, it's going to have to go there. Okay, let's try this out. Climb the ladder onto the catwalk. Nice. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and... So here's the other problem, though. This ladder, I don't think, will allow me to... Let's jump down there. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Okay. So. Yes, this is problems. Problems. We have problems. <laughs> okay. So I could steer here. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Slight issue is getting the hell out of here now. So. No manning the sails. I could go up this, but I can't get out. There's no reason to have this ladder then. Let's go ahead and demolish wooden wall. We don't want to demolish the wooden wall yet. Ladder though. Let's look at the ladder. Demolish the ladder. Now, can I click and hold? 
No, but let's click and hold this. That's the wall. Hmm. Slight problem. Very slight problem. Hmm. I think I might have to demolish this wall. Because I don't think... Can I look at the sail? And click on it. I can't. <laughs> Darn it. I knew this was a bad idea. Boy. And yeah, I can't even get, if that was a door, I wouldn't be able to get past it, huh? Nope. All right. We got to figure this out here. Um. Yep. Got to demolish it. Now here's it. Oh, wait, hold on. I can walk past it, but I might have to get rid of this bed and move it. That's the sucky part. And when I demolish the wall, I demolish that stuff up there too. Darn it. I may as well demolish this too and start over again. Uh, okay, I gotta make this wall larger, which means I gotta demolish the bed. Mm. That sucked. <laughs> okay. All right, back to the drawing board. It's getting night too, so I'm going to collect all the stuff I need, rebuild everything, come back over here, and put it back on. And then we still got to test this thing out. So, okay, back to work. All right, this time is a winner. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. All right, three walls. Let's do this. We don't need windows on this one. I can tell you that much for sure. Okay, so let's go here. Boom, done. Let's go here. Boom, done. Doorway here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Doorway. Boom, done. Okay. We got some roofs. Some roofs. Where we at? Where we at? Roofs. Well, s ceilings, more or less. Yeah, not a roof, a ceiling. Okay. What are we doing here? Let's, uh, hold on. Ah, no, oh, 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 right there. Okay, perfect. And right there. Perfect. Nice. That works. And I got a little deck up here, too. That's awesome. Okay. So now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I hope that chicken don't try to find its way over here. Okay, um, and let's get the door. Perfect. There we go. Now let's go in. Let's shut the door. And we are enclosed, guys. Perfect. Perfect. And I could probably put like a torch or something in here too. But this is awesome. And I could still man this one if I need to. That's freaking great. I feel like I put more work into this vessel than really needs to be. But we are probably going to be utilizing this thing for a while. The other problem I have is the fact that now I cannot go past this thing. So I'm thinking about, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Got to shut this though. Okay. Perfect. We still need to put a fireplace. So let's pick up this chair. We can pick up the chair. Hmm. Yeah. Let's craft a fireplace. Actually, can I do a cooking pot? Hmm. Let's just do a let's just do a fireplace for right now. I don't want to go too too bougie in this thing. <laughs> Cuz we're not be keeping it forever, tell you that much. All right, we'll put this right there to keep us warm. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to have to put a bed down. Um problem is I have the storage back here. Um and I have this that lets us go underneath. And I can't build a bed under there. I've, I've tried. Let's see. Can we open that? 
Yeah, we, we've tried to build a bed down here before we can't. So we're not even going to try. Don't want to shut that one. I want to shut this one. Stop it. There we go. So, and I know we can't build a bed in here. It's too damn small. So we got to craft another bed. It would look weird there. So we're going to have to put it up forward. We'll put it right up there. That way we still have room on the deck for any animals that we want. Can we craft a bed right now? What do we need? What do we need for a bed? Where's she at? Maybe I passed it. Ah, it's right there. More thatch, more wood. Okay, it's turning dark, so I'm going to go and get everything I need for a bed. We're going to craft that sucker. Make sure that we have enough food. Looks like I'm going to need more berries and more water for sure. Let me actually drink some. So we'll take two more things of water with us. Um, and while we're here, we may as well take some of this wood and put it back into the fireplace. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to be ready to test this out. We'll be back, guys. All right, Gaming Warriors. So I have everything I need. That includes the bed. So let's go put this bed down. Right there. Now, let's see. The wind is blowing good. The only problem I'm going to have with this current setup is the fact that I need to close one of these windows every time I come over and I'm going to have to jump, right? I put a ladder here. This ladder doesn't seem to really help me. <laughs> I really just have to kind of climb back here and kind of jump up on there. I don't really need to go to the roof that much, but just getting back to the front of here and back to the back is going to be somewhat of a challenge. I can already tell. All right. Open this window up. There we go. Now we just got to sail south. But now we have a little cabin here and we're enclosed. This works. This is perfect. Thanks, Kumo. This looks weird. <laughs> but it works. Man, let's head back to uh, the starting island that we were at, collect all of our stuff, and then head back. If anything happens exciting in between, I will bring you guys back. But this is basically a maiden voyage to see if we could... Uh, so we're heading south? We're heading south. No, we're heading west. We need to head south. But yeah, this is a maiden voyage to basically see if this thing actually works. I think this is south. Now let's check our bearings. We're heading southwest. Make one more course correction and we should be good to go. Perfect. And we still got some wind. Nice. Okay, and the other thing that I think both Daniel and Kumo mentioned that if I do get close to pirate ships or the ships of the damned, I shouldn't be too worried about it. Um, and the reason that is, is because, well, unless I see their name, they're not going to have aggro with me. See, we're close to some right here. We shouldn't be too worried about them as long as I don't see their name and they're moving away from me. We should be fine. But just in case, I'm going to go ahead and course correct because that one's getting pretty close. Alright guys. Anyways, I think we should be good. And that one's really close though. I don't like it. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to cut me off. Doesn't look like he is. Still don't see any health bars. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Uh, I see a name. No health bar. Okay, we're good. Whew. 
Lord have mercy. All right. There's the killing isles, I believe. Let's get back into the wind. There we go. All right. Now, let's go ahead and check our map and see where we're at. And we are heading southwest. We'll continue on this course. Okay. Just had to make sure I have Amber with me. Man, this is pretty cool, though. A little shelter on our on our little ramshackle sloop. Man, this is great. I could basically be enclosed and not have to worry about it. This is awesome. I really love this. Man. All right. I'll bring you guys back if anything exciting happens. So we made it back to the main island. Oh, my goodness. Well, starter island, that is. And we are in the middle of a rainstorm. Um, <laughs> it said typhoons, too. Uh, so I'm trying to stay clear of that. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my sails uh, accordingly. Um, but it seems every time I turn, the wind actually turns into me. So anyhow, it's worked. You could tell it's raining out, but I have the symbol that I'm enclosed. So it's perfect. It works great. Uh, this thing is awesome. So I could utilize the minnow for the time being. Um, until I get a shipyard up and I start building larger ships, uh, the minnow will do its job perfectly. Man, oh man, I'm super excited about this. Okay, I need to go and ad adjust some stuff before I die out on the minnow here. Lower sails. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Heavy turn. Oh God, this is not good. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Oh God. I think I hit the sandbar. Oh, 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 oh. I need to hit X. Not close enough. Okay, we need to uh, go over here and play with this sail. And can we lower anchor? Where is it at? No, 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 no. Oh, man, I got to turn back around. <laughs> oh, God, it's dark, too. Anyways, we're going to lower anchor and uh, we'll... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, maybe I want to turn out. There we go. Oh, God, this wave. Turn out, turn out. There we go. We're still in heavy seas, too, so I don't want to... I should have adjusted the sails earlier, and it is quite of a problem. Oh, God. That wave just overtook my bow. I left the door open. <laughs> uh, Can we make it? I think we'll make it. What is that? It might have been an animal sticking his head up. Okay. Um... I think we'll be okay. Let's get over there. And I might be able to just like quickly drop anchor. Let's see if I could get next to that sandbar like I did before too. That would be super cool. Mm, we got to come out a little bit more. And sharp turn. I mean, I can see some alpha creatures over there, too. Jesus, I leave this island for a while. And a couple animals just go alpha crazy, huh? Okay. Straighten out a little bit. And... Hello, Porkin.
Turn, 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 turn. Ah, sweet. The X button did work. Nice. It didn't work before, but it worked now. That's perfect. All right, guys. Ah. I would like to say home sweet so home. <laughs> I would like to say home sweet home. Man, I got tongue tied there for a second. But this is not. So the shelter is going to stay. I'm just going to empty everything out of it. And we're going to head back. So I think I'm going to call this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to start back off at the new island. Giptois Refuge, I believe it's called. Or my new home. Anyways, that's all I got. Chief Rocky out.